Okay, so number 12. Yeah, you're on video now. Go to the toilet. Right, okay, so it's x cubed. Sorry, uh, can I just ask, uh, who's asked me to do number 12? Right, which way do you use? On, oh yeah, which way do you use? Which one? <laughs> All right, okay. I know I have to do it. I just got to remember. I know I have to do it. Which way do you use it? The box. Do you, you do the box, right. Okay, you use the box. Right. Anyone else ask me to do it? Right, okay. I'm doing it the box way, so. So it's x cubed plus 5x squared plus 11x plus 10 divided by x plus 2. Okay, so this tells you a 3 by 2 box. So it's 3 across, 2 down. Remember, it'll only ever be a 3 by 2 or a 2 by 2. So you're dividing by x plus 2 here at the side. You put in your first term, which is x cubed. You put in your last term, which is plus 10. The first diagonal, they go together to give you the first middle term, which is 5x squared. Right, and the second diagonal goes together to give you the second middle term, which is 11x. So then you fill in what you can. So x multiplied by what will give me x cubed? x multiplied by? x squared. Right, okay. This one, plus 2 multiplied by something will give me plus 10. Do the sign first. A plus by a what will give me a plus? Plus by a? Plus. And 2 by what will give me 10? 5. Five. Okay, that's enough division. That's all the division you can do for the minute. Right, okay, so now you multiply and put the answers in the boxes. So you can multiply this box. X by plus 5 is plus 5X. And you can multiply this box. 2 by X squared is 2X squared. So now you have to figure out which one of these boxes. It doesn't matter which one. I'll go with this. Something plus 2 will give me 5. So what plus 2 will give me 5? 3x squared. Now x by what will give me 3x squared? x by 3x, isn't it? So then there's my answer. This is a check. So 3x by 2 is 6x. Does 5x and 6x give me 11x? Yes, it does. And there's my answer. Cross the top. x squared plus 3x plus 5 is my answer. Okay? Number 13, does anyone need me to do number 13? Yeah. 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 Right, can I rub this off? Yeah. One sec, yeah. Are we good? Can I rub it off? Going, going on. Right, okay, so number 13. So we have x cubed plus 3x squared minus 10x minus 24 divided by x minus 3. Okay, so again, the first term is x to the power of 3. That tells me a 3 by 2 box. So 3 across, 2 down. So you're dividing by x minus 3. So that goes on the outside. You put your first term into the first box. You put your last term into the last box. The first diagonal will go together to give me 3x squared. And the second diagonal will go together to give me minus 10x. Okay, so then you, x by what will give me x to the power of 3? x by x squared, yeah. Okay, and minus 3 by something will give me minus 24. So a minus by a what will give me a minus? A minus by a plus. And 3 by what number will give me 24? 3 by 8, okay? So then multiply what you can. A x by 8 is plus 8x. Minus 3 by x squared is minus 3x squared. So then you have to see what's missing. So 
So something, take away three, will give me three. So what take away three will give me three? Six, isn't it? Six x squared. Take away three x squared will give me three x squared. So then what by what will give me six x squared? Well, x by six x, isn't it? So it's a plus six x. And then there's your answer. This is your check. Minus three by plus eight, six is minus 18 x is 8 minus 18 minus 10 yes it is so you know you're right so your answer is x squared plus 6x plus 8. How do you check that you're right? Um, the final box you don't you you have nothing in that box right okay you have the answer and you have nothing in that box so if you multiply minus 3 by plus 6 that will be a minus 18x in that box and then you see, is 8x take away minus 18x minus 10x? Yes, it is. Okay? Right, number 14? Right, okay. Can I go? Yes? Right, number 14. 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 19x minus 6 divided by 3x plus 1 okay so again it's a 3 by 2 box so 3 across 2 down okay you're dividing by 3x plus 1 put your first term in the first box 3x cubed Put your last term in the last box, which is a minus 6, and then ask yourself, 3x by what will give me 3x cubed? 3x by x, just by x squared, isn't it? Right? If you want, you can say 3 by 1 and give me 3x by x squared will give me x cubed. Right? So then, plus 1 by what will give me minus 6? So a plus by what will give me minus? A plus by a minus and 1 multiplied by what number will give me 6? Six. 6. Right? Sorry, I forgot to put in what my diagonals are going to add up to. So that's minus 2x squared. Right? And this one is minus 19x. So then you multiply what you can. So you put 3x and a minus 6 here. So multiply those. What you get? Minus 18x, isn't it? And you have a plus 1 and an x squared here. So in here, what will I have? Plus 1x squared, wouldn't you? So something, add 1x squared, will give you minus 2. So you're adding 1 and you're ending up at minus 2. Where am I? I'm at, down at minus 3x squared, aren't I? So then you say 3x by what will give me 3x squared? A plus by what will give me a minus? A plus by a? Minus. minus. 3 by what will give me 3? Three, 3 by 1. And x by what will give me x squared? x by x. So it's minus 1x or minus x if you like. Multiply in here as a check. Minus 1x by plus 1 is minus 1x. And then is minus 18 minus 1 minus 19? Yes, it is. How did you get the minus? Sorry? Right, just give me one sec. Do you know where I got the minus 3x squared? No. Right, okay. Right, so, were you with me as far as here? Uh, yeah. Right, okay. So I have a number. So, and then I add 1x squared. So it's obviously going to be an x squared number. Right? So something x squared plus 1 will give me minus 2. So I'm going to start at a number. Okay. Minus 3, yeah, okay. And then you ask yourself, 3x multiplied by what will give me minus 3x squared? So do it in steps. This a plus by what will give me a minus? A plus by a minus. 3 by what will give me 3? Three? 3 by 1. And then x by x will give me x squared. So that's where I came up. So for those hard ones, do the signs, the number, and the letter. Do them all separately and it, it's easier to come up with your answer. And then in here, I have plus 1 by minus 1x is minus 1x, and that's my check, and it's right. Okay, are we good? 
That was it for the homework? Yeah. Right, okay. Are we, I think we're okay with division. Are you okay? How do you feel about division? Yeah. Okay? I'll take that as an okay. Right. Just for the people having conversations, I can listen back to the class later on and hence enhance your voices and I'll get to know all your deepest, darkest secrets. So if you don't want me to know your deepest, darkest secrets, don't discuss them in my room because I have ways. Right, okay, I want to talk about linear inequalities today. Right, before I start, there's two words there. What does linear mean? It's going to make a line. Right, how do I know by looking at it, it's going to make a line? Because it's going to have no what term? It's going to have no x squared term, right? It's just going to have an x term, right? So linear means it's going to make a line. There's going to be no x squared term. So when you look at it, there's no x squared. There's only x's. There's no x squares, right? Anyone know what an inequality is? An equation has an equal sign. So what do you think an inequality might have? It's not an equal sign. Great. What other signs could I have in there? I could have a less than sign, a greater than sign, a less than or equal to sign, or a greater than or equal to sign. Okay? Right. Yeah, you hate them before, but you're going to love them now in a minute. Right. Okay. So before I start, girls, I need to talk about a few things. Right. So I need to explain a few things before we start. I'm going to explain what the signs are. Right. Anyone know what that sign is? Right. Okay, L for less, L for left, do an L with your left hand and then turn it into a less than sign, right? L for left, make an L with your left hand and that makes a less than sign. So a less than sign, it looks like a kind of a, a, a messed up L, doesn't it? Right, so this means less than. Okay, so that's how I remember. The less than sign, it actually looks like a kind of an L, doesn't it? L for less than. Doesn't it? Would you agree? Right. Yeah, listen, I can't do that. that. That's the primary school thing and the alligators. and Yeah, but listen, if, if it helps you remember, it's about alligators eating, so I, I don't even know what it is. Right, yeah, but if that helps you remember, go with that. Whatever gets helps you remember. Okay, it's just I don't know it. Right, this is less than or what? Or equal to. Right, it's like... A, a mashup of a less than sign and an equal to sign. So it means less than or equal to. So what about this one then? It's not an L. It must be a greater than sign. And the other one you need to know is greater than or equal to. Right? So this is greater than or equal to. Now I'll get back to using these in a minute. I just have to explain a few things before we start. Right. Okay. Um, for your inequalities, girls, your answer is going to be a number line. Right? So you're going to draw a number line. That's your answer. Okay? So when we solve these, we're going to be drawing number lines here, right, okay? So in order to draw your number line, you need to know three things. Does anyone know what N stands for? Natural numbers. Tell me about natural numbers. No. Not all numbers at all. Positive whole numbers, right? So we sometimes call natural numbers the counting numbers, okay? So the one, they're the ones you use to count your money. So counting numbers. And a description of a natural number would be a positive whole number. So no fractions, no decimals, right? So positive whole number. Right, so 
What starts with the natural? What's the first natural number? One. Is zero a natural number? No, because you'd never start counting at zero, right? So one, two, three, four. Where'll I stop? I won't. I'll keep going forever, right? Okay, to infinity and beyond. Buzz Lightyear, all the way. Right? Is that okay? Yeah. Right, that's the first thing you need to know. Oh, sorry. And if you are drawing natural numbers on a number line, okay? So on a number line, now, when you're drawing your number lines, girls, you're either going to be drawn. I don't know why the pen won't mark right on that exact spot. Oh, it's writing now. That says number line anyway. Right on a number line, you draw dots. Okay? So if you were, and girls, some of you might decide I'll just do a few dashes and it'll be fine. It won't be fine. Right? It won't be fine. You have to do dots on your number line. So if you're drawing your natural numbers on the number line, you do a colored in dot at number one, a colored in dot at number two. This is not good enough, right? It has to be a dot, okay? Big, it's just internationally recognized. So basically, if someone in Australia looked at your number line, they'd know what you're talking about, okay? Well, in theory. Well, if they had me as a math teacher, probably, but maybe not if they didn't. Right, okay? Right, is that okay? Yeah. Right. So when you're drawn in natural numbers, you're drawn colored in dots on your number line. And you're only drawn positive whole numbers. So you'd never put negative numbers on a natural number number line. Okay? The next set of numbers we need to know about is Z. Does anyone know what Z is? Integers. Integers. Right, tell me about integers. Uh, no, they do have to be a whole number. It's, it's natural numbers and a little bit extra. What's the extra bit? Negative numbers. So it's positive and negative whole numbers. So I still have no fractions or decimals, right? So it's positive and negative whole numbers. Right, positive and negative whole numbers. So um, that means zero girls is an integer. So zero is included this time. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, dot, dot, dot forever. But it also goes the other way, minus one, minus two, minus three, dot, 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 forever that way also. Is that okay? So it goes forever both directions. But still no fractions or decimals, all whole numbers, right? And we have to be able to draw these on a number line. So again, girls, these are dots on the number line. So N and Z are dots on the number line. So on a number line, So these are for integers, which are Z, right? So on a number line, you draw a dot. So uh, colored in dot at zero, colored in dot at one, colored in dot at two, and uh, this I'm tired. Except I now have to add these extra bits. Okay. Minus one, minus two, minus three, and an arrow to show goes forever that way. Is that okay? Yeah. Right? So how do you know at looking at a number line whether it's Z or N? If there's no positive or if there's no negative numbers, it's N. If there's negative numbers, it's Z. Right? Always be, always be like yes, because it goes forever. Yeah, yeah. It, so if there's an arrow, it means it goes forever. Right? Okay. So if I left off the arrow, right? all the numbers greater than two would not be included. By putting in the arrow, I can say every single number that way is included. Right? Okay, are we okay with that? And the last type of number we have, am I okay to move it up? Did I cut people off there? No. 
The last type of number there I have is R. Does anyone know what R stands for? Real numbers. Can you tell me what real numbers are? They're fractions, decimals, whole numbers, negative numbers, positive, the works. Right? So they're positive. They are negative. They are whole numbers. They are fractions. They are decimals. And then I'm going to put, they are every number. So every single number you can think of, right, is a real number, right? So they are every number you can think of is a real number, right? Okay, is that okay? Now, when we're on the number line, on a number line, girls, this is the only one that's different. Does anyone remember from junior start how it's different? What would you draw? Draw a, a heavy line. And don't hold back all you need freaks out there. Don't hold back on the heavy line, right? Okay, I'm not a neat freak, so I'm okay with that. But some people are neat freaks and they do kind of, uh, you know, they might go over it twice in the biro with the ruler, but it doesn't look heavy, right? So don't be shy about doing the heavy line, right? Draw a heavy line, right? So for example, my number line, it's like not, I can just do dashes now because I'm doing, I'm going to do a big thick heavy line now in a minute, so you won't even see my dashes. I'm just sticking in a few numbers so you know where I am. And then I'm going to do a big, thick, heavy line to show that all the fractions and all the decimals in between there are all included as part of my answer. And I'm going to put a narrow that way because it goes forever that way. And I'm going to put a narrow that way because it goes forever that way. So there's my real numbers. Okay? And if you look down on that notice board there by Shauna to her left, Right, you will see on top I have the natural numbers with dots. In the middle, on the yellow one, there's a big thick heavy line for real numbers. And on the bottom, there's positive and negative whole numbers with dots for integers. So if you ever do a test in my room and you can't remember what they are, that's the reason I've that stuck up there, so you can cheat. Okay, is that all right? So I'd be, I'd be happy for you to look at it and get it right then not look at it and get it wrong, right? Yes. Um, sorry, you coloured the dots as opposed to. Yes, I, I haven't got to them yet. Right, you're getting very advanced on me. We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. Right? Okay. Right. So you needn't write down for a minute. Just listen to me a bit for a minute. Right. Remember, we did N, Z, and R. Right? Natural numbers, integers, real numbers. If I said three, what would you tell me three is? Natural number. And it's an? It's a real number. And it's an? Integers. Actually, all three. Right? Because it's a positive whole number. It's a positive or negative whole number. And it's everything. So it fits into all three categories. Does everyone see that? If I said two and a half, what would you say? real number. Why can't it be a natural number? It's not a whole number. Right? Okay. Well, if I said minus two and a half, a real number. It, it can't be an integer. Why can't it be an integer? Yeah, because it's not a whole number. Right? Okay. So if I said the square root of two, which is one point whatever it is, right? What would you say? A real number. Right? Everything's a real number. Right? So number three was all three. If I said minus two, what would you say? It's an integer and a real number, isn't it? If I said two and a half, you would say that's just a real number, right? If I said minus two and a half, you would say that's just a real number also. Is that all right? Okay, so do we know the difference between integers, natural numbers, real numbers? Right, and on a number line, how do you draw the natural numbers and the integers? 
dots. And what, which one is different? The real numbers. How do you draw it? Take heavy line. Right, okay, so now we're going to start drawing some number lines. Okay, before we get on to solve our inequality. Sorry? The first class is over? No. How long left? There's about seven minutes left. I'm making a recording. I can't pause the recording because it stops it completely. So I'm going to finish my teaching for the day before I stop. Just in case you think you're asking me for a break. Right, example one. Right. Shh. Right. So if I said graph on a number line, x is greater than greater than or equal to 3 and x is an element of n. Right. So this means you're going to graph all the numbers that are bigger than or equal to 3, but you're only going to show me the natural numbers. So this n or z will tell me, am I drawing dots or a heavy line? So when I draw my number line, am I drawing dots or a heavy line? Dots. dots. Right, okay. So I'm going to start at 3. Okay? Is 3 part of my answer? Yes. yes, it is, because of that equal to sign. So I'm going to do a coloured in dot at 3. Right, because 3 is part of the answer. So I'm starting at 3. I'm colouring in the dot at 3. Now I'm going greater than 3. So what? put in a few numbers that are greater than 3. So where do I go? 4. Then I'll go 5. And then what will I do? I'll put an arrow to show it goes forever. Okay, is that right? That's your answer. Example 2. Right, so I'm going to graph, um, when else I see, uh, what I graph? Um, X is less than one, right? And X is an element of R, right? So this just tells me dots are a heavy line. What am I drawing? Heavy line, right? So I'm going to draw my number line. Where's my starting point? One. Is one included? No, one's not part of the answer because there's no R equal to. So you're starting at one, but you're not including it. This is where the open circle comes in. You know, the, you were asking me about an open circle there a minute ago. That's when the open circle comes in. So look, if it was like that, I do a colored in circle. But it's not, there's no equal to sign. So that means I'm starting at one, but one is not included. So I just do an open circle at one. Yeah, 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 that's fine. As long as it's an open circle, and it's obvious it's an open circle, right? Okay, like don't do that and, and tell me it's an open circle, right? Okay, make it obvious, right? So um, I have to go less than one. So I'm just going to mark in a few numbers less than one. So no, minus one. Why am I not doing dots? Because it's, it's real numbers, and I'm going to color it all in with a big, thick, heavy line, okay? But I'm not going to color inside my circle. Right, okay, I'm not going to colour it inside my circle and I'm going to put an arrow. Right, is that okay? Yes. Now we're going to come on to the solving the inequalities. Right, that's just, that was just to remind you all the stuff you're supposed to know from junior search. Okay, right, so now I'm going to come on to an inequality. So I'm going to call it the example three. Now, an example three is going to say solve and graph. So it says solve the inequality, blah, 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 and graph your solution on a number line. Okay, I'm not writing it all out. If that's okay. So I'm going to go, one that works out for me. I'm waiting now until I see. X plus three is less than or equal to seven, and I'll go x is an element of z. Right, this is for the very end. This is just going to tell me at the very end when I draw my number line, do I do dots or a heavy line? What am I doing? Dots. 
So you ignore that until the very end, right? Okay. Now, before I start, right, this is, I have to solve. So I have to put my equations or my x's on one side, numbers on the other, like I did when I did my equations, right? So this is the wall, right? This is dividing one side from the other, right? So I want x's on the left-hand side, numbers on the right-hand side. So is x where I want it to be? Yeah. Write it down. Then that's a less than or equal to sign. Plus 3 has to move, doesn't it? Yeah. Is 7 where I want it to be? Yeah. yeah. Plus 3 comes over the wall. What happens to it? Minus 3. So you get x is less than or equal to 4. And that's, you would solve now. Now you have to graph it. So you've solved done. Now you have to graph it. Okay. So when I'm graphing it, am I doing dots or a heavy line? No. Dots, where am I starting? 4. four. Is 4 included? Yeah. yeah. So what's that mean? Good. Colored in dot on 4, doesn't it? Right, because 4 is part of my answer. Right, then I'm going less than or equal to 4 and I'm just doing dots. So what's next? Um, three. 3, 2, and 1. It's integers, so they keep going. Listen, I'm tired. Normally I would get tired five numbers ago, but that's it. Okay, and make sure you put the arrow at the end to show that it goes forever that way. Um, N and Z are dots, R is a tick heavy line. So N and Z are dots, R is a tick heavy line. Right, another example, example four. Right, so I'm going to go 2x. Minus 3 is greater than or equal to 5. X is an element of R. This is for graphing the number line. So when I come to graphing the number line, will I be doing dots or a heavy line? Heavy line. Right? R is the only one I do the heavy line for. Right? But before I get that far, I have to put my x's on one side, my numbers on the other. So build a wall. Is 2x where you want it to be? Yeah. yeah. The minus 3 has to go, yeah. right? Greater than or equal to. Minus 5 is where I want it to be. Minus 3 comes over the wall, and what happens to it? So you end up with 2x is greater than or equal to minus 2. What have I to do now? Yeah. Divide by 2. Right, oh yeah, and you, you don't want me to divide each side by two, you just want me to divide one side by two. So you go, x is greater than or equal to minus two over two. So what is minus two over two? Minus one. Okay? So then we draw a number line. Where am I starting? Minus one, included or not? Included, so how do I show it's included? Yeah, colored in dot. So I'm starting at minus one. I'm going greater than minus one. I'm going to be doing a thick heavy line. So I just put in naught, one, two, and then I draw my big thick heavy line. And as I say, all you need freaks out there, don't be afraid to do a big thick heavy line. And then an arrow to show it goes forever. Right? Okay. Now, there's one big difference, and I'm going to show it to you in example five, right? Why am I moving on is because all these, where you did all these in junior chart, this should be revision for you, right? Okay, so can I move it up? Sorry, is everyone with me? Sorry? Yeah, when I'm finished teaching after this, I'll turn off the video, and nobody here is having a break. Right, example five. Right, okay, so they'll say solve it and graph it, solve it and illustrate your answer on the number line. So, solve and graph, I'm not writing it out in full, okay. So, if I go five minus two x is less than nine, and x is an element of z. 
This is just for the end. Am I doing dots or heavy line? Dots. Right, okay. So now this is the one where there's going to be um, the big difference, where the only difference in inequalities and equations happen. Right? So you start, you build your wall, you put your x's on one side, your numbers on the other. So 5 has to move, agreed? Minus 2x has to stay. Right? Less than 9 is where you want it to be. The 5 comes over and becomes a minus 5. Agreed? So minus 2x is less than 9 minus 5 is 4. Now what do I need to do? I need to divide by minus 2. So when you're dividing by a minus number, girls, you need to reverse the inequality sign. Okay? So you need to turn it backwards. So that is a less than, you need to turn it to a greater than. So that means I'm going to divide by minus 2. So that less than sign becomes a greater than sign. And that's 4 divided by minus 2. Okay? When do I reverse it? When I'm dividing by a negative number. Right? So if you're dividing by a positive number like I did up there, nothing happens. If you divide by a negative number, you must reverse it. Okay? So this is x is greater than minus 2. So then I'm ready for my number line. So I'm starting at minus 2. I'm doing dots. Right? Is um, minus 2 included? No. So open circle on minus 2 because I'm not including it as part of my answer. I'm just showing that that's where I'm starting. Okay? So then I'm doing a dot at minus 1, dot at naught, 1, 2, and an arrow to show it goes forever. You, you can do either. You can, like I could have just set that, that out and started at minus one. Yeah. Right. But you have to do it for the real numbers. Okay, so it's a good idea to have a habit to do it all the time because then what, it starts at minus two but it's not part of the answer. Okay. So what would happen if you like, colored in the Sorry? Do you want to colored in Yes, it does, because if you colour in the circle, you're saying minus 2 is part of the answer, and minus 2 is not part of the answer, because it's greater than minus 2, it's not equal to minus 2. Okay? So, if you coloured in minus 2, you would lose max. Okay? One more example. Right, example 6. So I'll do 4x minus 3 is greater than or equal to uh, 5x plus 1, right? And I'll do x is an element of z. x is an element of r. Right, that's for the end. What am I doing at the end? Heavy line. Right, okay. So build my wall. X is on one side, numbers on the other. 4x is where I want it to be. Minus 3 is moving. This is greater than or equal to sign. 5x is moving. 1 is staying where I want it. Right? The minus 3 goes over the wall and becomes a plus 3. The 5x goes over the wall that way and becomes a minus 5x. So 4x, take away 5x, is minus. What is it? Minus 1x is greater than or equal to 1 plus 3 is 4. What am I doing now? Changes the sign or divide by minus 1, whichever you prefer. Either way, what have you to do? Reverse the inequality sign because I'm revert changing that to a less than and it's 4 divided by minus 1. Right? Because I'm dividing by a negative number, I must reverse. That's the only change in the whole lot of it. So that's x is less than or equal to minus 4. So then you draw your number line. We're starting with minus 4. Is minus 4 included? Yeah. Yeah, so coloured in dot at minus 4. 
and you're going less than minus 4, which is minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, and I'm going to do a thick heavy line because it's R, and I'm going to put an arrow to show it goes forever that way. Right, okay, so we're going to do, for the rest of the class and for tonight, you're going to do page 52 to 53. And you're going to do number 4 up as far as number 16. Now, the last two, you won't be able to do the last two parts, but if you get the first two parts done, I'll, it'll be easy for me to show you how to finish them, okay? So, for 15 and 16, just leave out the last part of each one, right, and I'll sort it tomorrow.